Hi, this evangelist Kaswali. God bless you. Whoever is watching me, bless you so much. Who is watching right here? My name is Evangelist Kaswali. Keep on subscribing, commenting, like, and share for others to come and join this platform. Please don't forget to share for your loved ones, for your friends, for anybody that you come across on your contact. You need to share for them to also join or subscribe to this channel because this channel will lead you to your salvation. It's a word of truth and the word of wisdom and the word of salvation. Amen. I want us to look something in Genesis chapter 3. Verse number 3. Genesis 3 verse number 3. But God did say, you must not eat fruit from the tree. That is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it or you would die you know when god told adam and eve that they shouldn't tempt that tree that is the middle in the garden they shouldn't take that tree or they shouldn't touch that tree they shouldn't eat the fruit from that tree you know and the serpent came to eve the, ser the serpent appeared in the garden and the moment that he appeared in the garden, he was, the serpent was speaking to Eve. Amen. So he was having some conversation with Eve. You know, he has, he knows why he appeared there. Because he came to destroy. When you read the book of John chapter 10, verse number 10, the Bible says, the devil he came to steal. He came to, uh, um, he came to destroy, steal, and killed, and kill. He came destroy him. He came to destroy her. He came to destroy Eve and Adam. In the garden, in the Eden throne, in the garden, the garden of Eden. Amen. So. You know, when Eve told the serpent that, you know, God says we shouldn't eat the tree right in the middle. Amen. We shouldn't eat the tree right in the middle. Whether I, whether I, it's when, we, when we eat the tree right in the middle, we would die. And the serpent said, verse 4, you will not surely die. The serpent said to the woman, they will not surely die. The serpent told Eve that they will not surely die. Listen, verse number five. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like good. You'll be like God, knowing good and evil. Amen. You see what the you have you listen what the serpent told Eve. He told Eve that when you eat the fruit, you will not die. Rather, you will be like God and you will know good and evil. That is what is going on today. That is what is going on. It's still ongoing. Because the serpents are deceiving many people in this world. He is still deceiving many people in this world. The serpents are deceiving so many people because they, the serpent will tell you that. No. When you two people are getting married, you need to see each other first. Because you need to know whether the man is carrying what you want. Whether the woman is carrying what you want. This is what the serpent are deceiving people nowadays. So they will do everything before they go to altar, in front of the altar, intimacy. They will, what, they will have whatever or what they want to have in bed, they will do. Because the serpent will deceive them to tell them, no, you need to see each other nakedness before, before you get married. The serpents are deceiving. And 
The serpent will tell you that, no, I want you to get pregnant. I want you to give birth before I get married to you. I'm telling you, the serpent is deceiving you. So you need to change your mind. You need to change your ways. You need to change things that you are doing. You have to know that these serpents are still working in this world. As he deceived the, uh, Eve and Adam, serpents is still deceiving people. So be vigilant. You need to be vigilant. You need to be vigilant that the serpent is still deceiving. And at the same time, listen, he is deceiving people. You know, you need to, you, you, you need to sm smoke before you can sleep with a woman. You have that strength to sleep with a woman when you start smoking, when you start taking the trauma, when you start taking alcohol. You can't sleep with any woman that you want. The serpent is deceiving you to lose your strength. The serpent is deceiving you to lose your strength. So be very careful and be vigilant. Very careful and be vigilant. Please be careful. Be, ve be very careful. How the devil or the serpent can deceive you. The devil are leading people to Astra. So many people. The serpent can tell you that. You need to sleep with a man to have money. If you are a woman and you are you are beautiful, if you are a woman and you have all it takes to have what you want or to get what you want, you need to sell your body to get what you want. The serpent is deceiving you. That is what he did to Eve. He is deceiving you to lead you to hell. So don't allow him to deceive you to lead you to hell. Amen. The serpent deceived Eve and told Eve that you will know good and evil. Because he wanted to backslide them. That's why he said so. Amen. So what are the things that you are in right now that the serpent is using it to deceive you? The serpent is using it to deceive you that you need to masturbate. So anytime you feel like masturbating, anytime you feel like masturbating, because you are allowing the serpent to deceive you, your, 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 your spams need to come out. So you are, you are allowing him to deceive you. The serpent is deceiving you, telling you that your shape is not good enough. The backside that God has given to you is too small. So you need to go and do some BBL for you to get a better shape. Do you know, have you seen how the serpents are deceiving so many people to Astra? But you think that it's normal. God loves it. And, 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 and I need to be myself. And I need to feel myself. And I need to, I need to do what I can feel comfortable with. The serpent is deceiving you. As he deceived Eve. He is deceiving you. The serpent is deceiving you that when you have little money, you, you, you can do that my bed, my bed, lottery. The serpent is deceiving you. Bring your little money for me to give you a bigger money. He is deceiving you. And you are allowing yourself to him, for him to deceive you. To steal your mind. And do you know that all these things that he is using it to deceive you or to, dis to, to steal your mind, he wants you to lose your soul. That's why he is doing that to you. So come back to your senses and come to Christ for God to save you. The serpent is telling you that. The serpent is still telling you that. Do you know something? As he deceived Eve, so he he's planning so many ways to deceive so many people on this earth. 
The serpent is telling you that as a stage, as this type of your stage, you don't have money. Let's go and get some money somewhere. So many people are misleading. So many people, they, they are allowing themselves for the serpent to deceive them or mislead them to a ritual places for them to get money, to maim it, to water spirits, to get money, to get powers. Do you know that the serpent is deceiving you for you to lose your soul? So come back to your senses and come to Christ. Christ, he has opened his hand. He has opened his hand for you. If you want him to save you, he is ready to save you. Devote yourself. Allow yourself for God to save you. And you will be blessed. The serpent will tell you that you should sleep with your mother. A son sleeping with a mother. A father sleeping with a daughter. The serpent is deceiving all these people. Gayism, lesbianism. The serpent is deceiving all these people. I want you to remember that he first deceived Eve. So if you don't take care, he will let you lose your soul. And you come and join them or you come and join the serpent with his angels. With his angels. The serpent with his angels. These dark angels in the same place, which is hell. Don't lose your soul for them. Come to Christ. God has better things for you. He has good things for you. When you come to him, he will receive you. Open your hand and say, God, please save me from my sinful life. Deliver me from the hands of the enemies. From the hands of the evil spirit that we cannot see with your own hands. With your own eyes. God, Father Lord, help me to come out. From this sinful actions and this sinful behavior. So that when you appear to me, I will get a better place to be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. You know, you can still follow all my social media handle. Evangelist Kaswale. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Evangelist Kaswale. Bless you. Bye.